This year's Turner Prize contains no paintings, no sculptures, only films, each shown in their own darkened room. And yet, it is the most politically charged collection in the prize's history. Luke Willis Thompson's 16mm films feature victims of police violence and racial abuse. Charlotte Proger's poetic work shot on her iPhone explores sexuality and identity. One girl sees me in the queue and shouts, there's a boy in the girls' toilets. While anthropologist Neem Mohaiman's feature film and documentary focuses on politics in the developing world. It's symbolic uh, because this is the place of martyrs. Each uses film in a different way, and while the lineup usually generates debate about what can be defined as art, this year it's challenging the definition of an artist. The fourth nominee, Forensic Architecture, is a group of investigators made up of architects, lawyers, journalists and scientists. They look into allegations of state and corporate violence and they don't consider themselves artists. This room is like stepping inside the mind of a forensic investigator. What the group have tried to do is dissect exactly what happened in 2017 when a Bedouin villager and an Israeli policeman were killed during the clearing of Palestinian homes in the Negev. They've used satellite images, reenactments, even news footage, some from Al Jazeera, to try and determine where the blame lies. The agency open up a new dimension to the art world and critics are keen to embrace them. Forensic architecture are almost going into the realm of what da Vinci did because da Vinci was not just an art artist, he was also a scientist and today if da Vinci were alive he'd be part of the forensic architecture. But even the curator can't tell if the public will appreciate so much politics in their prize. It's incredibly important to Tate that we are talking to the communities that we serve. You know, Tate, are, we're a public institution, we own, we look after the nation's collection of artwork. It is the nation's, they own it, we look after it. And so we always want to know what people think. Whether they love it or hate it, the Turner Prize is reflecting major shifts in art making. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, London.